The iPad Pro 12.9-2022 is not a huge upgrade over the previous model, adding only more power and hover detection for the Apple Pencil. The latter is nice feature that has been very well implemented and cements the iPad Pro as the drawing tablet of choice. These changes ensure it remains the ultimate tablet powerhouse thanks in part to a screen that's still based in class and the range of software that's better for the form factor than anything else on the market. The iPad Pro 12.9 lands as Apple's biggest and boldest iPad to date with a new M2 chipset that serves up more power than 99% of us will ever need. The previous iPad Pro was already simply the best tablet on the planet through sheer shock and awe and the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch just builds on that. You still get the stunning mini LED screen with unmatched HDR contrast and 120Hz refresh rate but now it can detect the Apple Pencil's second gen when it's hovering above the display which opens up some useful new interactions as well as adding precision for artists or note takers. You still get high-end laptop levels of power, now made even faster and with more capable graphics plus faster memory access for high-end apps. Even with the list of editions, you still get a super thin and light design too. But you don't get many other meaningful changes, it comes with iPadOS 16.1, but all recent iPads get that it won't represent a very tempting upgrade from last year's model, except for the most serious of digital artists. It's a bigger upgrade compared to the model before that however since it upgrades you to the mini LED screen as well as adding the near bottomless power of the M2 processor. Is it the best iPad on the market today? Well, in terms of sheer capability, yes, the screen is better than any other iPad. The size of its canvas makes it better for productivity. But now that the iPad Air 2022 includes the powerful Apple M1 chip, the iPad Pro is pushed more and more towards being for niche needs only. And that goes double after price rises in some territories, including a strip 25% increase in the UK on the start price. It may not be the iPad we would recommend for most people based on what they need but in terms of simply spec superiority hail to the king. The basic price for the new iPad Pro 12.9 inches starts from $1,099 US dollar and that gets you 128GB of storage only and no 5G wireless support. That amount of storage is awfully low for a Pro machine but if you want more capacity or to add 5G for ultra fast wireless connectivity anywhere, you will need to account for further premiums. You can get the Pro with 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, 1TB or 2TB of storage. In the US, the starting price is the same as last year's model which feels fair given the limited numbers of upgrades overall. The iPad Pro 12.9 doesn't feature any significant design changes compared to the previous version and really to the version before. It still comes in space grey or silver finishes only, none of the fun colors of the iPad Air or the new iPad 10.2. It's still a very nice design of course, the large surface area and swivel chassis make it feel ultra thin and sleek in the hands and the fit and finish is unimpeachable as you expect from Apple. There's a fairly slim bezel between the edge of the screen and the side of the device, it's thicker than the bezel on the iPhone 14 but that's fine with us since having a little edge to hold is no bad thing on a large tablet. The flat sides and right angled edges look like they might be uncomfortable to clutch but they are not at all thanks to the corner themselves being ever so slightly rounded. On one of the flat edges is a little oval that denotes the, where the Apple Pencil second gen attaches magnetically to charge and there are volume button on the same side. On one of the shorter edges is a USB-C port for charging plus two dotted bands for the stereo speakers. On the other short edge is the sleep and wake button and two more speaker bands. On the front of this short edge is the forward facing camera which includes the face ID system and it's our only real grip about the design here. 
The iPad Pro tends to be used in landscape mode and majority of the time and having the camera on one of the shorter sides means that it finds itself under your hand the majority of the time when you want to unlock it while holding the tablet. On the rear of the iPad you will find a small bump for the camera and the smart connector for attaching it to the compatible keyboards. As ever, Apple Magic Keyboard is the most obvious choice if you don't mind spending as much as a whole iPad on a keyboard case, the Magic Keyboard is an extremely premium feeling thing to type on and holds the iPad sturdily at different angles. But it picks up scuffs a little too easily on its outside in bags and the like so can end up looking rather less premium over time in our experience. The Magic Keyboard is pretty thick and heavy too, doubling the iPad's specs in the both departments once you have added it, the iPad's weight advantages over the MacBook Air diminishes majorly. As usual, Apple's claims is that the iPad Pro 2022 is good for up to 10 hours of battery life for simple tasks like video and web browsing and in the past we have said that Apple's predictions are conservative. I am not sure about that in the case of the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch, however, based on our time using it for video, light work and when pushing it with more intensive tasks, we are talking about up to 10 hours. 